now let us have a look at the uh, backend part uh, which i have done in the spring uh, spring boot i have used a uh, spring web spring data jpa i have used a lombok library for getting the uh, getters setters and uh, let me show first of all the flow and the uh, folder structure how i have maintain all the folders uh, i have controller uh, controller packages there daos packages there dtos uh, corresponding entities i have kept i have and then the finally a service table in controllers i have uh, i have uh, segregated all the controllers according to the need and uh, i have corresponding daos for uh, getting the data from the database dtos are used to build the uh, or the package the data which i have received from the database and pack it and uh, send it as a json object this entities i have already discussed in the earlier videos and this is the services which i need to do when a particular request is received on the controller now i will be discussing uh, three cases one is uh, of a user authentication second case i will discuss about getting the employee and third uh, i will discuss about the getting the patient that is slash get patient get all patients get all employees and authentication part let me start with the authentication part whenever the request from front end will come for authentication that is for the sign up uh, sign in purpose so sign in purpose uh, this thing api i have written this api just for the engines that is a server which i used in the front end so that uh, it could uh, direct all the requests to api and this api will be matched there and all the request will be sent to spring server i have used uh, here services for example i have uh, some user will log in and that login data will be sent through the body that i will be receiving using a data packing bin it is a simple pojo to collect the data which is sent from the front end for user authentication that is email id uh, username password and the role this i have written just for the testing purpose i will be passing that data which is received or used data i will be passing it to services one method where i have written is get user by email and password let me show you that here is the method to get a user by email then uh, i will be using that email uh, for getting the data find by email user dot dot find by email here function you can see i will be getting the user by using just a simple email and i will be using that user for validation purpose i will be validating it i will be matching his password where i will check whether that received user is present or not then i'll check if the password is not null and that password which is uh, received from and the password which is stored in the database is equal if that part is equal and success success then only i'll be sending user pojo back to the front end this is the simple query uh, i have used an inbuilt data jp query find by email and password to get that user back from the database now let us look at the uh, get employee get employees and get patient and get patient now let us uh, look at the next request which will be received uh, at the employer controller and here uh, uh, api i have written just for the engines uh, server 
employee whenever the request will come for all get all the employees it will be passed and it will be a get mapping as there will be no body required it will uh, directly call this get all employees from the employee services from there we have a inbuilt function for getting all the employees and of employee tau which is related to the database and the entity which is employee entity which will be returning all the employees we have the list of employees here uh, as you know employee entity it is very crucial to understand why uh, we require to create a employee after receiving an all the employees from database uh, we require to create this uh, employee before sending to the uh, front end because as employee entity contains a user along with user we have doctor and hence when we uh, get all the employees we will be getting all corresponding doctors as well as uh, users also will be received and when we try to send it to the front end using json it will be always going into the infinite loop and to avoid that infinite loop we need to recreate the object and i have recreated that object using a dto employee user data backing bin i have recreated object here and i have sent it back to the employee services so you can see here the uh, returning list is of employee backing bin, not employees. And it will be received in the controller and from controller, the data will be sent to the front end. Now let us understand the mapping for the get all the patients. Similar mapping uh, of uh, get all employees is for the patients. Uh, mapping will be received here. Uh, slash API patient slash get all patients and as it is a get mapping we don't require any body and all we will be directly calling p services get all patients function from patient services there uh, we have a patients now inbuilt function find all which will be retrieving us the list of patients here also it is very necessary to uh, remember one thing we cannot send this patiently directly to the front end because you should always remember that in patient we have a user corresponding to that patient we have ward corresponding to that patient we have a doctor corresponding to that patient and we have the uh, medicines which are corresponding to that patient so if we try to send that uh, patient list to the front end then obviously it will be going in an infinite loop because all the tables are interlinked and that interlink linking will be causing an infinite loop while sending the data to the front end hence we always need to recreate the data and then send i have recreated it using create patient let me show you what are the contents and how i have created the data or you can say repackaging the patient list and sending the required data only. See, I have sent it, it back from here. And then again in the server uh, patient service list and from that uh, patient service list, I will be sending to patient controller. And from patient controller, it will be sent back to the front end. That's all uh, regarding the uh, backend part as there are many mappings and all the mappings are similar type of working. All the folder structure, all the uh, other mappings also work in a similar way. Medicines, DAO, patients, DAO, then uh, charges, calculation, and all, all that of thing go hand in hand. Let me show you the how I have written the query part. Uh, these all are native queries I have used because they were uh, when i used the inbuilt functions it was creating a problem because when i inserted the patient it tried to insert the user then corresponding doctor then corresponding all the uh, things which are mentioned in the patient 
entity it tried to insert and that gave me always an error that you cannot change the foreign key that's why i need to implement this native query simple straightforward query otherwise we have a inbuilt function to save the patient as well but that will be uh, requiring some extra uh, uh, information which i have uh, not planned in the front end thank you that's all for this video uh, in the next video we will be seeing about the front end part